hold up, hold up. Is that nuclear? Great. How's it going, Carlos? All right, Albert, right? Yep. It's my brother's name. We call him Tito, Albert Tito. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. Yeah. Older brother, way older. Yeah, awesome. But uh, I got to tell you, man, I saw Righteous Steve's, man. I enjoyed it, man. I love a good heist flick, but I love the fact that this was so different because it's also about the tension between you guys and, you know, it has this emotional aspect to things. You know, it's not like your standard heist flick, but it, overall, great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm I, I'm hoping that people's reaction is the same, you know, I'm hoping people love it. And yeah. Just, I hope they just walk out having like, man, that was, that was fun, you know, like. Yeah, I hear that. So my yeah. first question is, um, what inspired you to take on the role of Eddie here? Well, just as we said, you know, the first, you know, just the heist idea of it, first of all, because I'm just a huge fan of heist films. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't know when they're going to come along. You know, you don't know what really will probably just come. And so this was my first um, lead in a film. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I've had, I've, you know, I've been blessed to work on a, on a few little things here and there, but this was my first like lead role. So for it to be in a heist film, was just like, oh, that's, of course, you know, of course I wanted to do that. Um, I love the story. Um, I was so, I was very, it was very interesting. The, you know, the, the concept of this art that was, you know, stolen, mm -hmm. um, you know, not, not, your, not just some typical, like, this is a Picasso and we got to go and get it. Like it's no, there's, there's some there's history, history with it. there's some, there's history behind it. You know what I mean? And, uh, and you know, so I, I didn't know about any of this stuff, and then so that's I like that, and just and just being able to uh, the chance to work with the people that I was gonna get to work with, you know, it was just like oh cool, um, yeah, so definitely, many, yeah. yeah, definitely a stellar cast here. Um, Lisa Vidal, uh, Gina Lee Ortiz, Cam Gingenday. Um, I mean, th th these guys were awesome in their roles, and what, what was it like working with them? Like. It was great. It was great. I mean, Lisa is an angel. She's so sweet, super easy to work with, always prepared. Like she was, she's, she was the Danny Ocean, right? In the, in, you know, she's the, she was the leader and she carried that like in outside and on like during set, like she, that was her presence. Um, Jaina, Jaina's awesome. I mean, Jane, so I work with Jaina, I continued working with her mm -hmm. on station 19, the show that I'm on right now. And, but I, just before it, I got this film just before I was about to be on it regular. So oh. I hadn't worked with Jaina just yet. I, I had guest starred on the show, but my, my character was with, you know, involved with other people. So when I got this film, um, I just, I couldn't, I kept telling Jaina, I was like, you know what? I just want to say, man, I, I really appreciate that we are doing this film together and, and we get this time to kind of uh, get to know each other and bond and kind of build a rapport as we're about to go on to, as I'm about to be on your show, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. instead of coming into it, like, you know, hi, I'm new. I'm Carl. You know what I mean? It's, we had that already like, Oh, what's up? We're, you know, so it just, it just made everything. It was a great, great. This has all been a blessing. And so that, many helped. that helped, especially because the chemistry between you and Jana was just like, that was one of the best things about the film because you guys are playing base, basically exes in this film. Right, right. There's this unspoken, there's so this unspoken, there's this unspoken history between them. Yeah. Yeah. There's still that tension between them, but somehow it, that it flowed, the, the chemistry flowed between you two and that's what that's made great. it work. That's great. That's great. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you, that came across. Um, Cam's awesome. You know, he was actually very, to my experience, I remember I was like, man, he's so quiet. Like he just kind of does his own thing, but when the camera's on and he and he performs, man, he's. I mean, Bruno was really funny, and I, you know, he, he I love that character in the film. And Sasha, this is her first film, and uh, she, I mean, she's she's a comedian and she's hilarious. So if y'all, you know, put the word out, Sasha Mercy, man, she's she's. Oh she's, yeah, she's and gonna come up. this being her first film, she knocked it right. out of the park, and I think knocked she, it out the park. She, she was got, great. She's got such a great of her. Yeah, yeah. So everyone was awesome. Anthony was so passionate and and full of ideas, and um, you know, there's just his enthusiasm makes you enthusiastic, you know, and you just kind of want to 
fulfill what the, his vision is. Like, all right, man, let's, yeah. Um, everything. It was just, it was a great, great experience all around. And what I really liked in this film, I love the action sequences. I mean, I was not expecting them to come out the way. The parka. The parka. Oh, Jaina doing jujitsu, you know, Brazilian jujitsu. I'm like, I was not expecting. I know Cam knows martial arts because I've seen him do it like plenty of times, but sure, I'm sure. Like, but I'm seeing, but I've seen Jaina do jujitsu and then like, you know, even Sasha at one point, you know, throwing down it a few times. Yeah, yeah. I was not expecting these fight sequences in this type of movie, but damn, they were good. <laughs> yeah. There was so I, I don't know, I don't want to spoil nothing, but I know when we were filming, this was kind of funny to me because I remember, you know, we choreographed a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh my character, you know, he's a little more you know, smooth with this with every, you know what I mean? Like he's like he's more of a I don't fight type guy, you know. Right. But um but he but but I do have a, an action scene in it and it, but the majority was Jaina. So there was a lot of part there was some parts where you know we would discuss and like ah oh, you know I don't feel I feel like he should do something or this should like he shouldn't just let you know and then they would be like okay you do what well, maybe we'll do this and then you get hit or whatever and I was like no fuck that wait <laughs> I ain't gonna, every time I'm fighting I'm getting beat up like we got <laughs> I gotta get a lick in here <laughs> like we ain't just gonna have me like a, I- it worked. I it felt like it, it brought the you know this is like a tip that that's where you see the acting comedy come in you know like, right 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 so I think I, it worked and even though sadly you know you did get you got more hits yeah yeah yeah, yeah, you got yeah more yeah. more in the receiving end you it still worked out like the whole no, totally. did really well <laughs> so were there, did you face any challenges on your end during production at all or was it just pretty much smooth all around oh man I wish it was all smooth man I mean. <laughs> For the most part, it was smooth, yeah. Um, to be honest, man, you know, it was, it was, it was still during, it was just during, like, COVID was still going on, and yeah. the pandemic was just kind of, the lockdown stuff was just kind of freeing up and all that, and uh, and I actually t- got sick the very, very, very at the very end of shooting. Oh man. Like the, I was so I'm like, oh my god! And I'm thinking like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And it was freaking COVID. Oh! But, it was, but fortunately, we had we had everything in the can, and it was just like, damn, dude. But oh, you it, got it off your time because you know we didn't know. You know, we're still. It was a time when we were still trying to figure out protocols and all that stuff. Yeah. And so. But you lucked out. I think I think you lucked out considering it was like already. You're yeah right. yeah look definitely definitely we all did like we got we got it we got it done but i do remember uh, and it was a, uh, and it was a lot of um underground garage stuff and i just remember like oh man like i feel like shit right now <laughs> yeah but overall man this is a great film i uh you know any action fan anyone who loves popcorn flicks they're gonna want to see this one for sure i hope so man it i hope out, so yeah, see it more than on, once. yeah it'll be out on march 10th and you know, you just mentioned you're on Station 19 now, but um, is there any other films on the horizon or are you just waiting for that right project? I think I think personally, Eddie should get a spinoff film where he gets to actually fight and actually get and beat everybody up. Beat everybody up. <laughs> um, yeah, no, just right now, I'm, uh, right now, Station 19 is the main gig. Um, we just uh, came back last week from our winter hiatus, so. We're back on the air every Thursday, eight o'clock on ABC, Hulu the next day and uh, this film. And, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, um, you know, I just want to work with really more great, really great directors and tell great stories. So I'm that's it. Fucking, that's what's important. You know? Well, that's yeah. awesome. Well, Righteous Deeds will be out on March 10th. And Carlos, man, thank you so much for talking about this film. Thank and you. and I hope it becomes a hit. And seriously, man you were just great in it and i hope people get to see more of you not just on station 19 but eventually in more films i mean that means a lot to me thank you so much all right well you take care and have a good day you too my man all right see ya bye